currently I am, today is Thursday. So we are 16 days out. This means we're definitely coming down to the wire. That being said, I wanna film a lot more of the journey so you guys can, can really get a taste of, of what it feels like to be on prep and how I look, honestly, how I look going into the show and all the things that I'm doing to prep for it. Today I have full back, so I'm doing all back and buys. And then tomorrow I'm gonna be doing chest tries and shoulders. So I'm gonna take you through that. I'm gonna take you through both days. So you can kind of uh, get a better idea of the start to the finish for two days. Um, and then continue on all the way through. I also have cardio today and tomorrow, actually five days in a row. It's been a long, long journey for this bodyweight to bodybuilding series. And um, I'm just really, really excited. Anyways, this is where I'm at. It's kind of hard to see, honestly. Because it's the morning. But... Film pretty like pretty flat right now, but let's have a good day. A really fucking good day. So my current macros on the screen, as you can see, put them on the screen. They're they're right here. They're right here. They are 220 carbs, 50 fat and 250 protein. So I was on 150 carb for the longest time and my cardio has been high and all this different stuff. And then I started to go up the past two weeks with all my carbohydrates, which is over the past week and a half, which has been a huge, huge help. And uh, I have more energy, I'm stronger. Like yesterday I did shoulder press with dumbbells, four sets of seven with 80 pounds. That's a 20 pound increase from when I first started to prep, which is really, really cool. Also, with all my meals, I've just been really on point with what I'm doing inner and post, intra, post, I can't even speak, intra workout. So before and after my workouts, how much I'm eating, how many carbs, how many fats, how many proteins. So I'm going to always now until the end, till the actually the beginning of my show, I'm gonna have my, a little bit more carbs before my training than right after my training. And I wanna run that around 50 to 60% of my total intake for the entire day of carbs. The reason why I wanna do this is I, I get depleted during my workouts and what I've realized is when I do eat more carbs before and after, not only am I stronger, I have more energy during my workouts, but I feel better later. So right now I'm gonna have some Icon Meals shrimp. They actually do by the pound, so I ordered by the pound. You just put it in the microwave and it's pretty simple. I'm gonna have two cauliflower sandwich thins. These are hands down the best, so definitely get them. They're 50 calories per. And then the pasture-raised organic egg. I'm just gonna have one because that's all I have. And then of course some corn thins right here. These are great because for two slices, it's 47 calories, eight carbs, one protein, zero fat. So, breakfast. So, Create Your Nutrition has officially launched. Just go to createyournutrition.com to pick up your, all of your stuff now. We have our greens, boom. We have our creatine HCL, boom. And we officially have our probiotics that are all out. And next up is our pre-workout and then hopefully a vegan protein and a lot more. And we just signed another big athlete. I can't talk about who it is. <laughs> Sorry, all the bullshit around here gets to me. Um, and he is someone you guys really, really know. So I'm excited to have him on the team. We went to Vegas just recently and for, the, for Mr. O. To be honest, Ryan Terry 100% should have won men's physique. I don't know, it, it, out of everybody, he literally looks like he, ha he actually has the men's physique, like hands down. These guys are getting way too big in men's physique nowadays, and that's just my opinion. Um, where has it all gone? I have no clue. Seabum won in classic physique. I don't know if you guys really care that much about bodybuilding and men's physique and classic physique and all this stuff, but I think it's it's pretty freaking cool. And I know that a lot of it's different to you guys because uh, you've been watching me for so long and I've been bodyweight training, bodyweight training, bodyweight training, and all of a sudden I'm kind of like doing a complete 180 and I'm on something different. But it's freaking cool. Once you guys get 
watch a little bit more and understand how everything works and you watch your body and your physique transform. You're gonna see me after I train. Um, by the way, I'm just really quick. I'm wearing baggier shirts from now on when I go train. I don't want anybody to really see my body. I don't want, I want people to be looking at me at all or anything like that. So I'm wearing more baggier clothes. I roll up the sleeves a little bit just for like a little bit of fashion, fashion duo, baby. You know, out here in Denver, kind of not LA, but you know, got to get that fashion on. Uh, and, and yeah, I'm wearing like things from like Hot Topic, things from uh, just a bunch of different stores that, I, that I've been to and I saw some really cool de design shirts and graphic tees and stuff like that. So uh, after my training, I like to, I want to look at my physique. I want to see how I look. And so if the majority of the time I don't see my physique and seeing this, seeing that, and, and this muscle, this muscle, um, by the time I'm done, I'll in a way be surprised and be like, oh fuck, yeah. So it's kind of like motivating to me where I, I, I'm, I'm in the gym, I'm focused, not looking at myself in the mirror, and then after, I'm good. So drinking this up, I'm actually gonna get some coffee, and then we're just gonna jump right into the workout, and we don't have to go get the coffee or whatever it is. Let's just get the workout in, yeah? Let's roll. Is it a battle or what's going on? <laughs> oh, no, it's, a, it's, a, it's an end. Half of a half of a uh, half of a break dance right there. Has a half yeah, that was beautiful, man. <laughs> what are you doing? What's going on? Uh, this that's is a like, nice. That's a nice jacket. Thanks, man. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You get yeah. them right up the front. Yeah. Wow. I get you. I get you a discount code. Actually, Dude, that's a really nice jacket. <laughs> Thanks, man. I'm gonna have to buy one after this. Tell me, man. It increases your gains by 20. What are you doing? I just, really? I thought that was the South Shore. <laughs> Oh, no, that's no, not no, a thing. No, it's a parallel. What you you, what's going on? What do you know? Uh, I just finished doing some chest and then we oh, just abs. I'm about to do back. Dang, I did back. You want to know why I'm wearing a baggy shirt? Why? Because I'm a rock star. <laughs> See? <laughs> who? The who? The who? <laughs> that's not the response I was expecting. <laughs> now I'm hiding my physique from all of the haters. That's right. How many days? 16. That's so exciting. You want to come to my show? Yeah. You have to send me I'll pay you. <laughs> you pay me to go to your show? <laughs> I didn't even get to seem like I have a lot I'll, of friends. So like, I'll on. be your hype man. I'll be in the back. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go bro. Papa. Actually, I would love that. Alright. Can you be my hype man? Sure, man. You meet my parents. You can be whatever you want. Wear a mask, though, if you're going to meet my parents. What? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, wow, that chest is, look, is feeling uh, no, chesty. So. I just, uh... You know, did, did some chest and haven't done yeah, chest very in chesty. a while before this. So. All right, let's get this work out. Right. Not with Roy. Roy's yeah, not going to be training. Yeah, I'm, I'm bailing. So. You know, I've actually been watching this show called Successor. Mm -hmm. Succession. Successor or Succession? Succession. Succession. Succession? Succession. Succession. C-section. C-section. <laughs> Succession. <laughs> and uh, it's the Roy family. <laughs> <laughs> and they're billionaires. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, so it's about me. Yeah. Oh. Basically, but not you. It's just your name. But just that's what. So yeah. everything that I ever want to be. Yeah, but you're not, and you may never. Actually, none of us are ever gonna be. They're literally, <laughs> they're literally about to sell their company for ten billion dollars. Wow. I mean, I only have a billion dollar company. So like, <laughs> it's a nine billion dollar. <laughs> Anyways, it's a little different. let's get this work right in. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Bye. We're starting off with some. I'm thinking. Henley rows rather than regular bar bar rows, just because it's, a, it's just a different positioning and it requires a lot more core strength to stabilize from the bottom as I'm coming up. But I'm gonna start out with like this com more of this compound, it's more compound, and then we're gonna move into the, the entire workout, just killing it from A to Z. What it takes, just dig in deeper than you ever have, especially when you're depleted or you're exhausted, and you've been prepping for so long. Those last two reps of every set are gonna be the hardest. And when it's like a third of the fourth set, those last two, three, four reps are gonna be even harder. So that's where you win. That's where you become great. Now here's the thing. When you're only two weeks out, you're not gonna win by those last two weeks. You win from the total 10 weeks, the total 12 weeks. For me, the total 20 weeks. It's not about these last two weeks. Yes, I need to go hard, but it was about eight weeks prior to where I am now. So let's get it. Just how long did you think that you could fake it? Can't hold on, we already started breaking. I'm not yours, so stop acting like you're on me and on me. 
So just doing that movement. I don't know if you guys remember, but a while ago, about a month ago, I messed up my adductor magnus longus, which is right here. And when I was in Vegas, because I was depleted, I wasn't sleeping as much, all this stuff, I can make excuses, whatever. I didn't warm up the right way that I should have. And uh, I aggravated it again. So doing Penley Rose is not gonna happen today. Just because when I'm stretched out all the way, it's really putting a lot of strain. I still need a couple more days of rest from that hamstring. So we're gonna switch it up. Still gonna get a crazy workout. I'm gonna switch it up. I'm not gonna do pen labors. Let's get it. Workout's done. I mean, I got after it. Definitely got after it, yeah? There, yeah, tore it yeah. up, tore it up. Some good volume, <laughs> heavy weight. Even though I'm about like a little bit over two weeks out, I feel really, 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 really good. So I'm gonna do this 25 minutes of cardio. Obviously my pump will come down, but I'll be super sweaty. Then I'll go into the posing room and I'll show you kind of how I'm feeling um, and show like, you know, I'll just show my back poses. I won't do my front. And then I'm gonna go home and eat a little bit, take it throughout the day a little bit, and then uh, going into tomorrow for for chest tries and shoulders, show you kind of what's good. It's Thursday now. I've been training six days a week, sometimes even seven days a week because of the way my cardio is landing. 
which kind of sucks. I don't recommend it, but I'm being stubborn. Honestly, I'm being stubborn because of my mind, like my, the way my mind works is I want to get all my cardio out of the way out of the seven days and I want to have two days of rest from cardio. So I do my cardio five days in a row. So my coach did a check-in like three days and then four days. So it landed on a Thursday. So that starts my week. So today's kind of starting my week in a sense for my cardio. So I have five days, which means I'm training on a Sunday as well with my cardio. So it kind of like throws me off a little bit. And that means Wednesday, um, I, have, I have to choose either, all right, do I fully rest or do I do shoulders and upper chest like I have been like for, for eight weeks now and seen that growth. It, it's a hard decision. Last week I did rest on Wednesday. I don't think I'm going to until prep is over. I'm gonna keep on grinding. Cardio? Is that, a, is, it, is that a slight, slight flex right there? Or are you, oh, are no, you no, staying? that's natty. That's, no, a, that's, that's a natty flex, you know. You know when you're natty, and you're fucking natty, you just like, muscles just pop. They just pop. No, in all seriousness, I was actually in uh, talking to Roy in there, and uh, before I was training, I was like, yo, wouldn't it be kind of cool? And actually, I told Taylor, wouldn't it be kind of cool if I did like a full natural competition? Uh, trying to think about it and like, I might want to. Maybe bodybuilding or, or I don't know if they have classic. They have classic and they should, yeah. But I want to do it at a, at a world level, you know, because I really think that I can compete at a very, very high level. Um, and getting a pro card for men's physique, like I don't get to show these legs, man. I, I got some fucking wagons, baby. You feel me? <laughs> Not my calves, but my wagons. Like, okay, so when you look at a at a car and you look at the rims, you know the little the the bolts that are like put together. Yeah. What is it called? Hubcaps. Uh, no, like the, that, the bolts, I don't even know the what they bolts, are. I'm, I'm a noob when it comes to uh, cars, but those are what your calves are. It's like those little nuggets that are on the, that are locking the wheel together. Um, nobody cares about that. <laughs> Clearly, I need to. I was, I was standing next to Phil Heath because he trains here at Armbrust yesterday, and he was doing calves. I was like, "All right, brother, I'm getting to the calf game." <laughs> this man's calves were like about to eat me, eat me. Anyway, all right, enough. Talk. Doing generic video shots, you know, and then a generic. And I'm gonna actually eat, but I got a Gatorade Zero. Whenever low calorie, it's very interesting because when I'm regular calories, I don't want any of this shit. I don't want the Gatorade. I don't want like the little fucking noodles. Little, you know, the little noodles that that just don't have any calories. To it. I don't want any of that stuff. So fucking stupid, dead. Okay, so I have four ounces of asparagus, six ounces of chicken, and four ounces of white potatoes. All of the macros are here on the screen. Um, I also have my air fryer, kasori. Remember, I tell you every single time, grab them. But I have peppers. All the macros are on the screen so you can see it. I got some nice roasted up peppers, or air fried peppers. They make it taste so freaking good. And then zucchini. Look at those zucchinis, how thick those are. So 146 grams of red bell pepper and then it's just so easy to cook like this i have a call that's why i'm rushing right now i have a call with my team 382 grams of zucchini so that's going to be my lunch for today now i have to i don't have to do anything actually but we're going to be doing a podcast for a quick time friday also scheduling a couple guests that are going to go to the lab coming out to Denver. <laughs> By the way, look how beautiful it is in Denver today. This is the reason why we're staying in this place. It's just beautiful out. And I, you know, I was thinking of moving to, uh, to New York City, and I was telling Taylor, I was like, yo, we should move to New York, we should move to New York, you know, the whole shebang. But uh, I've decided, because of, of how everything's going recently, there's just so much going on, and we're really developing Create You, Create Nutrition, Create You Experience, Create You Agency, all, all of it. It would be probably best to just get a house here, 
Um, find a really, really cool spot. My fly is actually open, don't look. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> and, and yeah, kind of, uh, kind of build the home base here, the business home base here. And then if I wanna to move to New York City like in a year and a half um, after March, like six months after March, because I do wanna compete probably again in March, try and go to the Arnold or something. I don't wanna tell you too much because it's a little secret, but uh, then I can't. But yeah, we're gonna do a podcast. I'm actually gonna talk about how important your first step out of bed is. That's gonna be the podcast, your first step out of bed and what that means and what that represents in your life. Let's roll. Welcome back to another episode of the Create You Experience. And uh, actually something that came up for me today from Instagram, of course, for this quick time Friday is this when, kind of, when you take out that, that first step up from your bed, you're, you're setting up your disciplines for the day. All of them. And so imagine if you don't go to your phone. Maybe, maybe you step out of bed, you make your bed. You make sure your room's really clean. Then you go into the restroom and then you do your business. You handle your business. Then maybe you journal. Maybe Ooh, I need to brush my teeth. Ooh, I need to take a dump. <laughs> it's unfiltered here. Unfiltered. <laughs> Appreciate you. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of the Create You Experience Quick Time Friday. I'll see you next time. Oh yeah, and in the show notes, go check out the Create You Nutrition line. We are officially launched. We have the Greens Juice, we have the Creatine HCL, and we have the Probiotics. And we're developing a very innovative pre-workout, vegan protein, and so much more. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Peace. That's a wrap, and that's how you do it. This is a little hack that I've found here at Whole Foods. It's the Paleo Coconut Bread. 35 calories per slice. 35 calories. Six carbs, five protein, and one gram of fat. They also have, just this is almond bread. Three grams of fat, six grams of carbs, seven grams of protein. Whenever you go into these places, see, and then this one's 110 calories. 11 grams of carbs, three grams of protein, six grams of fat. You can always find these little hacks if you, if you go to the areas that nobody wants to go. So the 110 calories. See? I'm telling you, man. You boy. Prep genius. Everyone thinks they're a prep genius, to be honest. Everybody. Oh, can't cold out. <laughs> Like that. <laughs> no, okay. So currently, if you want to look at this screen, um, editing some upsells for Dylan's full sales funnel. So basically, sales funnel is uh, someone comes to buy one product, get them to buy that product, and then behind it, you have an upsell or something to complement that original product. So for instance, for him, he's launching the Creatine HCL to either tomorrow or in two days. Behind the Creatine HCL is going to be a greens powder. So our greens powder, instead of people just going to buy the greens powder over here, they can get it discounted after they get the Creatine HCL. So they kind of feel, um, in a way, important to Dylan, and I believe we're allowing them with the discount, obviously, to feel important about themselves and their health. And it's really, really cool the way this shapes up. And then also we have email lists. So after they purchase, we have emails that follow up over the next 30 days that one, provide value to help them with the product and implementing it into their diet, whatever it is. It's a supplement, remember, you don't replace anything. You add in it's supplementation. Uh, and then we kind of add value, 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 how to train, all these different things. And then we tell them to, hey, it's time for you to, to get your product again here. It's 30 days later or 24 days later or whatever. So, step-by-step -step process. But uh, yeah, long day, 4.45 p.m. We're gonna go drive home, probably eat by around like six. I got, still got like 1,300 calories. About a smash. But Thursday night football, baby. Let's ride. So I'm currently eating asparagus, roasted turkey breast from Icon Meals. I just had shrimp, uh, I had cod, I had some more asparagus. I'm watching some NFL football. I had a couple corn thins and I still have a thousand calories. What happened was I had so much work and Taylor and I were actually out in the mountains in Denver. So I haven't been able to come home and eat. 
I was 1300 calories out from finishing my day. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna put everything here on the screen, my fitness pal, this full meal, all the macros and everything. You can check it out if you want. Also have some, check this out, air fryer. I'm serious, it's like the easiest thing to do. Brussels sprouts and tomatoes. Super easy, throw them in there and that's it. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna end it here. It's been a, a really interesting day, I could say. A lot of different things happened. We actually just are finalizing the launch for Cricket Nutrition for uh, Cornelius now. So it's a new influencer that came on board and we're finalizing a couple other influencers that are gonna be launching here in the next, within the next five days. So during this time, obviously I'm going through prep and the whole shebang, but I feel good. And I'm actually not gonna to film tomorrow's workout. Upper body, Jess, by the way, hello. Uh, we're gonna hit legs on Saturday and I'm gonna um, I'm gonna film all of that and show you kind of what's good, what's popping. But thanks for tuning in for another episode of Bodyweight to Bodybuilding. Remember the podcast is every Tuesday and Friday. Love that podcast, the link is in the description. Also, you can check out Create Your Nutrition, the link is in the description. We have our greens, our probiotics, and our creatine HCL, all are launched. Anyways, thanks for tuning in, I'll see you next time. Peace.